of sunlight in here. What's up, guys? How many we got in here? We got a few. What's up, Z-Man? Oh, there's the hoser. All right. I'm going to make me a new name that says, let's do play with live electricity. I love to check it with my fingers, you know, see if the capacitor is still hot. Everybody makes fun of me for that. I don't know why. <clears throat> All right, where's my bag? So, that stinks the YouTube pluses if we play music. Can't even play a little music before we, while we're getting ready and letting everybody get in here. And I tried playing some of my own music that I had done. Everybody made fun of it. I thought that was funny. So no matter what I pick out, YouTube figures it out and says, no, copyright, wham, wham. And then you look through there, uh, they got this list of free music, you know, you can pull. And it's all pretty lame. I found a couple of pieces in it that were they were okay, you know. Nothing great. So, figured if they won't let me do it my way, I just won't do it at all. Take my ball and go home. So because of that, we sit here in silence with nothing but the chat to entertain us. So maybe we'll get lucky and some troublemakers will come in the chat tonight and rag us, rag me, do whatever entertains everybody. Got a couple of them trying to give me a little crap right now. No idea why. I can like children for whatever reason. But I know how to do that too. This is a bunch of work. I keep saying I'm going to get me a van of white, you know, like some pretty girl to stand here and 
put all these ping pong balls on the board and just can't afford for that to happen. So, and then also I tell myself every time, well, I'm going to remember to do this before time to go live. Then it gets down to the last minute and I realize I'm not even ready. Every time. Good thing I don't do service calls like that. Usually prepared when I go to them. Alright, we've almost got it. Now, as I had said about a hundred times, the reason I put them all out there on the board and let everybody see them first is so that everybody knows their number is actually in the, the hopper, uh, spinny ball thingy, as uh, Zach calls it. So anyway, I don't know if you watched the video or not before, but I doubled up the prizes on the giveaway today because I was pretty excited that we finally reached 10,000 subscribers and got a little past that. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, that's definitely a step in the positive direction couldn't have done it without the help of all you guys and without the help of some of these guys up here on the board that have given me some good guidance and good counsel and uh, Zach has especially helped me out a couple of times and uh, I've, I've stolen uh, stolen some ideas I try not to steal too many but I've stolen a couple ideas from Brad here I was told from him because I don't think he cares. You know, he's cool with it. And uh, Zach, you know, he's the one with all the good ideas. Tell you what, he really does a good overall production. So I wish I had that talent like him. And Steve Lav, he's just got that personality, man. You know, I mean, him and his dog out riding in the truck and telling his uh, telling his customers. You know, what's the matter? You stuck on stupid? I mean, that was fun. I, I about fell out of my chair when I was watching that one. And, uh, I mean, that was real, too. He wasn't faking it. That wasn't his brother. That wasn't any. I mean, that was true reality. He's in there in the customer's basement. And uh, says, how many times did you push this button? Uh, oh, yeah, two times, huh? And it's full of oil. Yeah, you must be stuck on stupid. That was just funny. I got to go back and watch that again sometime. Steve's awesome. But, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to use our same list that we always use. And uh, I did ask Justin Henning, if y'all know him, J.H. Hope he's here. I think he is. I think I saw him here. Um... I did ask uh, Justin to come in and kind of watch after me because I make mistakes and hopefully he can. Yeah, there he is. JH, HVAC and plumbing. That's Justin Henning. And uh, he'll moderate the chat and he'll, he'll keep up a copy of the, uh, of the slideshow list and make sure I, you know, I didn't print something wrong or I don't screw up somehow. So, uh, He's a lot of help. I appreciate him being here. Hey, there's Chris. What's up, Chris? HVACR videos. You know, that's a uh, that's a pretty awesome channel there to watch. And, uh, you know, we've all got our little niches. Like, Chris does these, uh, like, question and answer things. And, I mean, there's guys in there firing at him. You know, they're like, you know, bam, bam, bam. And he's answering these questions. And... Uh, you know, so that's kind of his niche. 
And uh, mine is just giveaways and dumb videos out in the field. That's pretty much all I've come up with. And uh, Zach, I tell you what, man, Zach has really, he has seriously stepped to the plate with his productions. And these game shows that he's doing now, man, those are just, those are totally awesome. And uh, so I've always thought it would be ethical, you know, and and be just flat out doing the right thing not to copy everybody's you know everybody to kind of fall in their little niche um you know those q and a's man that chris does those are I, most of it's over my head because he's a big refrigeration guy but i tell you what i have really enjoyed even if i can't catch it live i go back and watch it you know and uh, I have really learned a lot about stuff I have no clue about. He does things I don't do, so I'm interested in it. And, you know, Zach has his thing. Steve Lav has his. And so we all kind of got our little niche that we stick in. And, uh, you know, I've copied a couple of people here and there, but I've always talked to them about it first, or I've always tried to, you know, like the Cowboys thing, um, I didn't just steal that, you know. I uh, I made an arrangement to to get that logo and that name and to turn it into a reality show. I didn't just say, "Hey, I'm I'm doing this," you know. So, um, and then a couple of things like some ideas that that Zach has had and that Brad has had. Um, you know, I just don't think it's cool. You just start doing what somebody else is doing. That's just, uh, you know, that just ain't cool. Ain't going to make you no friends that way. So uh, whatever I've copied from somebody else, it's because I kind of cleared it up with them first. But anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up and throw it out there and stand here and shoot the crap for a few minutes while we try to let some people get in here. I don't know if we're going to hit 100 this time. We usually get about 100 people in here or more. But... Uh, I got a pretty interesting video I'm going to release later tonight. Um, it's mixing down or whatever you want to call it now. Um, <laughs> Chris said he learned from mistakes. I don't know if anybody's done that more than me. I, I definitely, uh, you know, I started my business in 1989. And uh, I'll tell you what, I was... Uh, I was pretty eager and energetic and jumped right out there and did a couple dumb things, but I did learn from them and I did move forward. So I'm kind of proud of myself for the last 25 years, but the first five were kind of dicey. And uh, boy, I can't tell you them first years how many times I thought, you know, ah, that, that, uh, that's not important. I can skip that step. Yeah, I can just purge this. I can do that. And, the more and more I started to understand the systems and how they operated, yeah, the, the smarter I began to do things, I guess you could say. Yeah, but that stuck on stupid thing. I'll never forget that when Steve Laff said that to, to a customer. I guess, I guess up north it's a little different. People are a little tougher. Um, we're a little more gracious in the south. Like if, if you said that to a customer down here, that'd be the last time you'd be in their house, you know. Uh, and it may kick you out right then. Oh, jeez. What's up, Jimmy? What'd you find? How does that keep it from coming on? Oh, you mean like those old ring high pressure? Yeah, yeah. It's like ring tag. So when you charge them at night like that, you gotta you gotta watch it. You gotta be real slow. That's what'll happen. So you got it straightened out. I'm just glad you got them straightened out. That's the only reason I was calling. I didn't, I didn't want to. I was calling. I just, that's the only reason I was calling. All right. I'm going to do a giveaway. 
Okay, so I'll holler at you afterwards. Alright. Alright. So, sorry about that, guys. That shouldn't happen again. That's my tech that's on call. So, yep, for once on a Sunday, I'm not on call and I'm not doing service. So, that's how I uh, decided I could do this at 7 instead of 9. I could be a little earlier. Um, Joe, now you already know that everybody in my whole organization is Jimmy. I thought you watched the Cowboys. Uh, well, the service guy wasn't in that. But, yeah, we Jimmy him too. So, we got our same five lists here. We got our numbers up there on the board. And here's what I'm going to do. This is how we're going to give all these away. We're going to just draw twice on each lid. Do we have enough in here? 97, come on. So close to 100. Joe, can it, buddy. So, here's the A-list. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend twice on the A-list. I'm going to pull one ball out, and then I'm going to pull the second ball out, and that's going to be first and second prize. Now, I need to remember which one of these cost more. So I'll let you guys say which you think should be first prize and which you think should be second prize. And we'll just take the over, overwhelming response. And uh, so just type either Makita or Rigid for whatever should be the first prize and second prize. Um, somebody says Rigid first. Another one says Rigid. They all say Rigid, Rigid, Rigid. Yeah, I don't know which one of them costs more. I forgot. But, uh, okay, it looks like everybody thinks the rigid should be first and the Makita should be second. Um, there is no Milwaukee here today. That's why I don't have a sponsor. That's why I don't have uh, John Stone or Baker up or anything. This, uh, this is from the heart right here. This come out of, this come straight out of the company here, guys, because I really appreciate all you guys watching these videos and helping us build up. So this is the A list, and we're going to spend twice. We're going to spend the same amount of spins each time. And then, so the first prize is going to be the rigid drill set. And the second prize, 101. I am not spinning 101 times, Justin. You can hang that up, because we generally progress with each list. And so, oh, people, I got you. That made me nervous there. Because I usually ask one of the guys, you know, how many should we spend? And then I kind of take that suggestion and we spend. And I just thought he was going to start, you know, wearing my arm out right off the bat. There's Chris Bercy. Did you get your prize the other night, Chris? Chris won something, and I think he wasn't paying attention. And that's one of those uh, live to, you know, you have to be present to win things. I haven't, uh, I haven't done that yet. A lot of us are confused, Rutabaga. Uh, confused. Scott Yates, what's up, buddy? So, it is about time for the new list, I would say, so everybody can, you know, worry a little bit less about that coming up pretty soon. So, anyway. Justin, if you can make sure when we pull these winners that I don't mess anything up, I would really appreciate it. And uh, look after me a little bit. I appreciate it, Scott. I couldn't have done it without you, buddy. All of y'all, everybody has an equal part. So there's the A-list. So let's decide how many times we're going to spend on the A-list. Joe Daddy's Garage Mini Split. Hernandez, what's up, man? Everybody likes Hernandez. Hope that's the real one. He he emailed me one time and said, hey, these are all my names. Please don't ban any of them. And he put about five names up there. I'm 
I'm like, dude, you know, okay, whatever. He's the guy who clones himself, spoofs himself. So how many times we're going to start out spinning? What do you think, Justin? Where'd you go? Ten looks kind of logical to start with because we're celebrating the 10,000. But we'll do whatever Justin thinks is going to be. All right, he says 14. There's somebody else saying 14. So let's go with four, uh, 10,000. Okay, Shannon, I'll see you in about a week. So we're going to spend 14 times twice. We're, uh, first, we've got to put all these balls in the hopper. And... I know you guys probably trust me, but I still want everybody to see all the numbers. One through 50. Everybody's number is there, and everybody's number is going into the hopper or the spinny ball thingy, whichever, whichever we want to call it. So, I'm going to put all these in here. And I'm going to spend 14 times to pull out the winner of the rigid. Then I'm going to leave that ball aside. And I'm going to spend 14 more times and pull out the winner of the Makita. And we're only going to let you win once, so whoever wins the first prize, your ball stays out and does not go back in. And that's the name of that team. So, if we're ready, 97, we still didn't hit 100. You know, I think my phone, now it's on 99, up 101. There's 101. Marvin, that's coming up pretty soon. We only redo the list once every six months. So, that's coming up again pretty soon. So anyway, we're gonna spin it 14 times, pick out the rigid winner. Spin it another 14, pick out the Makita winner. And as always, you will have 24 hours to send me an email. First and last name, full shipping address, and a telephone number. Yes, FedEx wants your telephone number. And please just make it an email if you don't mind. I know a lot of you got my cell number, and I, you know, I, I, I don't mind you texting me and whatever, but I'd just rather have the email to claim the prize. So if you'll please do that within 24 hours. Now, unlike before, the unclaimed prizes just pile up in the bin. And we'll figure out something to do with them one day. But 24 hours to claim your prize. So if you're not present and you watch this and your number is a winner, email me as quick as possible. We're going to take one more quick glance at the A-list. Whoever's on the A-list that's in here, you ought to know your number by now. You ought to know you're on the A-list by now. But always flash it up there. Nobody's going to else get your veto bag, Corey. You need to come get it. And I'll throw in a train stool or something for you. Something real hard to take back on the plane. But uh, bring your wife with you make it a trip man we'll put you up in a nice place here take you out a couple nice dinners show you how rednecks do it down this way hoser i'll have you back home wishing you lived in the good old usa i bet you don't believe that do you <laughs> all right so let's spin this thing 14 times and let's see who gets the rigid here we go one two three four five Fourteen. All right. So the winner on the A list for the first place prize is number forty-seven. So let's look at the list, and if you don't mind pulling it up too, Justin, 
just to be sure I don't have anything wrong here. Let's look at the A-list. Number 47 is Miguel Meza. Meza. Miguel. I wonder if Miguel is here. That is number 47. Miguel Meza. Is he here? And does he want that? Now, to keep from having to go back and watch this video, I'm going to be writing these down as we go. Which is another thing I should have been prepared for, but I was not. And I would apologize, but you would know better. All right. So, Miguel is first place on the A-list. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend 14 more times. I'm going to leave that 47 out. Miguel's ball is going to stay out of the mix because he cannot win twice. So we're gonna spend another 14 times and we're gonna see who gets the second place. Thanks, Justin, I appreciate you. Second place on the A-list, we're staying on the A-list, is going to be for the Makita corded hammer drill with a nice case. It has a really, that, the, the rigid has the bag probably more popular in the cordless tool. And this one doesn't get used as often, but it's got a nice hard plastic case with a handle. So we're gonna spend another 14 times and pull another A-list out for the second place. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Fourteen, all right. 14 times brings us number 34. So, let's figure out who number 34 is. And I'll tell you what, I believe I know him. And he may have been here. Rod Day. Number 34 is Rod Day. Now, if you are present when you win... And I meant to say this earlier. If you're present when you win, we're going to throw this uh, Cowboys of HVAC hat in with your prize. Rod Day, where are you at? You know, he used to be in every one of these. But I guess he didn't get to make it this time. All right, so Rod Day, A47. Oops. <laughs> 47 was the first place winner. Rod Day is A34. A34, Rod Day, you have 24 hours to email me. First and last name, full shipping address, and phone number. Have to have all that to send it to you on FedEx. Okay? Rod Day, number 34, we do want to send that to you. All right, so I'm going to put number 34 and number 47 back in the hopper. And we're going to switch to the B list. B list there are 50 more names and if you're on this list you should by now know your number and know that you're on this list 
So how many times are we going to spin this one? J.H., your son says to spin how many times? What'd you say, Justin? Eighteen. Okay. So we'll let Justin's son call out this time. We're going to spin 18 times on the B list. And we're going to see just exactly who the first place winner is, is the rigid of the rigid drill set. And then we'll do the Makita. Okay, so we're going to spin this 18 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen times. And number forty-three on the B list. Number forty-three on the B list wins the first place prize and that is the rigid drill set and number 43 is James Tabor. Does anybody know James Tabor? Because I do not believe I do. However, I think I have seen that name. Some of these guys sent me their real name and some of them sent their YouTube name. Some of them forgot to add their YouTube name when they registered and so they just get their name put that they give me. James Tabor. Thanks, Justin. I appreciate you looking behind me because you know I might have printed something wrong. I had so many of these lists till I kept, correct, kept uh, correcting them. So, who is James Tabor? That's what I want to know. Obviously, he's not here. But if he was here, then he would know that we pulled number 43 out and that he won. Nonetheless, if James Tabor happens to see this, he has 24 hours. There he is, number 43. He's got 24 hours to send me an email, first and last name, full shipping address and telephone number to claim the prize. He won the rigid. So let's write him down. Forty-three. All right, now we're gonna leave that ball out of the hopper and we're gonna spin it another 18 times. And we're going to see who the second place winner is of the Makita hammer drill. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right. Let's see who the second winner is on the B list. Number twenty-four. Okay, so number 24 on the B list. Let's get a look at him or her. Number 24 is Stephen Oliver. If you could uh, confirm that for us, Justin. Number 24 is Stephen Oliver. Stephen O. All right, Stephen Oliver, you are number 24, and you are the winner of the second place prize on the B list. That is that Makita hammer drill right there. Within 24 hours, I need an email from you with your first and last name, full shipping address, and telephone number, and we will ship you your prize. All right, so let's write him down. Stephen O. Number 
Now we're going to switch to the C list. And let's just see who all is on this C list. So, that's the C list. Justin, what do you and your son say we're going to do for the number of spins for the C list? Well, we fell off. Some of the guys jumped out. Down to 86 on my list. Fernando wants to make me spin it 45 times. I do. Oh, no, he's number 45. Oh, I got you. Where is Justin Hernandez? Joe Shearer probably left, too, or he could give us a little backup help here. But he took off. I think he was going to church tonight. He needs to as well so, so he can learn how to treat his elders and superiors. 28 times is what Justin says we're going to spend on the C list. So... First thing we're going to give away on the C list is obviously the first prize, the rigid set. So let's put these back and let's spin 28 times or until my arm falls off, whichever comes first. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dusty in here. And number 23 on the C list is the winner. And number 23 is Joe uh, Lucci. Luches? I don't want to say that. Joe L. Close enough. Good call, Justin. Joe L, number 23 on the C list. You won that right there. You have 24 hours to send me an email with your first and last name, your full shipping address, and phone number. That's right. FedEx wants a phone number to ship something to you. Gary, your real name is not Joe. You already told me before what your real name is. Mafia guys. All right, so we're going to leave. Boy, we haven't had a winner that was present yet. We're going to leave number 23 out right there where it was. And we're going to spin this thing 28 times again and pick out the second place winner for the Makita Hammer Drill. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. see who wins the Makita set number 25. That's who wins the second prize on the C list. So let's look at who number 25 is. 
And I think we all know him. Jeff Kipper. Where is Jeff Kipper? Because I know he wants a hat. But if he ain't here, he ain't getting one. Not this time. Jeff Kipper, where you at, man? Come on, show up. Jeff Kipper. Show your screen name. Yo, there he is. Give it to someone else. Look at that. What a guy. You know, he could have took that and just sold it on eBay or done whatever he wanted. But no, he's a decent guy. So everybody needs to remember Jeff Kipper of that. He really does. Jeff, would you still like the hat? Can I still send you the Cowboys of HVAC hat? How about that? Are you interested in that, Jeff? Can't turn me down on that, man. What works great for me? What or that? I think he meant that works great for me. So, You do want the hat, right, Jeff? You willing to go ahead and send me an email as if, yeah. So uh, what size shirt do you wear, Jeff? If I have uh, some more Cowboys shirts in your size, I will also send one of those. And if you don't want it, maybe what size do your son or your daughter or your girlfriend, whatever, what size shirt would you like? No, Gary, not you. Jeff Kipper, where are you at? Extra large. I have some of those. I do. So I'll send you, for being such a great guy, and saying we can go ahead and spin again and give your prize away because you got plenty of drills. Now, that's a good guy right there. Hopefully one day you win something that you could really use and we'll send you that. But for being such a stand-up guy and a good supporter of the channel, we all really appreciate you, Jeff. You're an awesome dude. So I'm going to send you a hat. And I'm going to send you uh, not the 2X. That's cool. I know we've got. So, Jeff, what we're going to do, these are the new ones that I had made. So they've got the, the small cowboy on the upper left pocket there. And they got the big cowboys of HVAC on the back. So we're going to send Jeff a hat and a t-shirt because he's a stand-up guy. You know, a lot of people would have just took the prize no matter what and just been greedy. Oh boy. Probably another service call. It's starting to get hot. So, thanks to Jeff, we're going to go ahead and spin a third time and stick to the C-list and we're going to see who can win this Makita drill from Jeff because I've already given it away and now Jeff says he's got plenty let one of the other guys get it so let's just see exactly who's going to get Jeff's drill I'm going to spend 28 more times
Number 43 is going to get that drill. So number 43 on the C list is, hope that's not a kid that snuck by, but it couldn't be because he would have given me, yep, white wasp. He would have given me his state license or either two paycheck stubs and a driver's license. So, CO43 White Wasp 17 is authentic. I promise you that. And he has 24 hours from the Blue Ridge area. Farncraft. I'm going to have to look that up. That's not far from me. Okay, White Wasp, you got 24 hours to send me an email. Your first and last name, full shipping address, and telephone number, and I will ship you one of those Makita drills right there. And you can thank Jeff Kipper, hopefully I'm saying his name right, Jeff Kipper there. You can thank him for being gracious enough to pass his prize to the next guy. And uh, he's quite a guy, so let me write those down right quick. Moving right along. Well, that Jeff really is a good dude, ain't he? He's a good guy. All right. D list. Jose, what's up, Jose? Jose was one of the first ones in here. And Justin says we're going to spend 35 times on the D list. So let's get ready to get a little more exercise of the right arm here. And we're going to spend 35 times. And we're going to see who the winner is of the first place of the D list. And that's going to be that drill right there. The rigid is what we're going to do first. All right. 35 spins, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, eighteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 Thirty-five. That is thirty-five spins. And number fifteen on the D list. And I think a lot of us know him. Number fifteen on the D list is Paul Nye. So, Paul, if you are watching or if you see it later or if somebody calls you or texts you or whatever, you have 24 hours to send me an email and claim your prize. You are the first place winner on the D list, which means you get one of those rigid drills. So, Paul Nye, the HVAC guy, you got 24 hours. First name, last name, full shipping address, and phone number hopefully not in Canada and if you're in Canada just get on the bus with uh, 
Hoser de Sormo and come on down here and get your prize. I'm just kidding, Hoser. I ain't going to make you ride the bus, man. Uh, we'll split the plane fare with you. How about that? So, who else is on this D list that wants to win again? The second prize is going to be the Makita. Can I email at the 25th hour? Yes, Hernandez, you certainly can, and I will be very glad to get an email from you. However, um, you will be the winner of the booby prize. So, <laughs> just wait till you see what that is. Anyway, Paul Nye, we're going to wait 24 hours on you, buddy. I hope you claim this prize. We've seen your name in here an awful lot. So, we're going to spin another 35 times, and we're going to get the second prize winner of the Makita off this same D list. So here we go, 35 more spins. So the second place winner on the D list is number five, and that is who wins the Makita Hammer Drill. Harvey Torres, Torres, Torres. Harvey, you are number five on the D list, and you are the second place winner on the D list. And that means you got 24 hours to send me first and last name, full shipping address, and telephone number to claim your Makita in a nice hard shell plastic case hammer drill. Shipped to you free of charge. That's number five. Harvey, you got 24 hours. So... We're going to put these two back. Oops. Ah. 15 and number 5. I'm going to jot those down over here. All right. Then going to ease on over to the e-list. Um, the Makita is corded, yes. The rigid is not. Somebody said they look corded. So, e-list. Z-Man, Z-Man, are you still in here? Justin wants to know, where are you at, Isaiah? Isaiah was here just a few minutes ago. I call him Z-Man. I don't know where I got that, I just do. Empty boxes. <laughs> no, the only empty boxes go to my good friend Joe Shearer. He gets the empty boxes. So anybody that doesn't want your box, by the way, uh, send it back to me so I can send it to my buddy Joe. He opens them with a Sawzall anyway, so I can't really put any prizes in there or he'll just whack them apart coming out. All right, time to do the E-list. Time to find out how many times we're spinning for the E-list. 
So we spun 35 last time. Yep, this is the last list. How many times are we spinning this time, Justin? No, I'm not spinning it 69 times. 50? <laughs> Uh, you know, I guess. If that's what we want to do. I might have to switch hands a couple times. So, we're going to spend 50 times. So, no, it's not the last one, Justin. i got to do this twice. That's all right. I'll live. It's like cranking up that duck jack, you know, when you're raising a furnace or a piece of duct or something up in the air. You have to crank the duck jack up. All right, so 50 times on the E-list. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. Okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. E-list. Number six is the winner of the first place prize. And after 50 spins, I'm going to need a daggum intermission. Take a nap. Jason Schmidt. It. Schmidt. Jason, Jason, Jason Schmidt. Can't say that last name right there. So, number six, Jason, you have 24 hours to send me an email with your first and last name, full shipping address, and phone number, and I'll send you one of those rigid drills right there. So, y'all saw me uh, try to cheat there and act like I had... Uh, You know, spun 50. So I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Look at that dog cheating. Are you cheating? She says something to him. Now he's back up there taking full strides. He's going to try to ease back. Look at him, cheating again. You're cheating. Go for a walk. No cheating. Go for a walk. Good boy. So, that's yes, Lassie. Little Lassie. Cheating. So, uh, anyway, that's what I felt like doing on the 50. So, I got to spend 50 more times. All right, Jason, number six. Don't let me down, homie. Send me that email. Go ahead and write that down. All right, last spin of the night. Let's see who wins the last prize. Makita Hammer Drill on the E-list. 50 spins. One.
50 spins on the e lit. Oh, Lord, look at that. Look at what you did, Justin. 50, and we pulled out number 50. <laughs> How about that? All right. So that winner is Don Moran. Don Moran. On the E-list, number 50, Don Moran. Don Moran, or Moran, you have 24 hours to send me first and last name. I think we probably see that. Full shipping address and telephone number, and you can claim your prize. 24 hours, Don Moran. All right. Let's go write that down. Boy, that's something else there. The last one, and we spent it 50 times and pulled number 50 out. You know, I think Joe did that one time. Joe Shearer was, uh, he ain't in here, he's gone to church, but he was helping me one night and he was picking numbers for me and stuff. And he said, let's do 33. And I spun it 33 times and pulled out number 33. So, yeah, Lee and Shannon, I wear my sunglasses at night. I wish one of y'all to won, man. Uh, Jeff Kipper was the only one present that I saw. And uh, let's everybody remember Jeff for being the stand-up guy and saying I got plenty of drills, give it to somebody else. So uh, he's going to get that hat and that T-shirt. But that's, uh, that's what we're going to do the next few times is if you're present to win, we'll throw in a Cowboys hat if you want it. And uh, we may give the T-shirt choice as well until we run out. i got to order some more shirts. Now the next hats we're getting are uh, they're already ordered. And they're going to be camouflage. So I think I've got probably about two more stacks like that. I wonder how many is in this. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Right there. So we probably have about 25 to 30 of those left. And I ordered uh, camouflage for the next, like a darker camouflage. They look pretty cool. So that's the next set of hats we're getting. I don't know how long it'll take them to get here. But uh, they should be here pretty soon. So we'll start giving those out as bonus prizes or something, you know. Um, so anyway, pretty soon coming up, it's going to be time to do the registration over. And we're going to be just as strict as we were before. You're going to have to prove that you work in the HVAC industry. Now, I don't care if you're just the office help that sweeps the floor. If you can show me two paychecks from an HVAC company to prove you work there, that's fine. Otherwise, you show me your state license and your driver's license, and that'll be fine. But I am not going to fall victim to another 12-year-old kid video gamer to win one of my prizes and sell it on eBay like happened before. And that's why we do the registration thing. But anyway, for anybody that watches this, if you're watching my videos and one of our subscribers, I really appreciate you. Uh, I just can't tell you how much your support is what helped build the channel. And Shannon, I wear my sunglasses at night. He's also the one of the ones that helped build the channel. He's been here since the start. He's been really supportive. A lot of you guys really have. Um, and Justin, I really appreciate you. And the other Justin, we all appreciate you and your humor and your, I tell you what, Justin Hernandez does not bore anybody. He's, uh, he always comes up with something pretty cool. He doesn't say a lot, so he waits until he's got something cool to say, then he says it. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of good people, a lot of good personalities. And uh, we, we really like all these, all these guys here that's on our channel. And so anyway, uh, DeSormo, 
I'm gonna have to do something about you. Cause I know you ain't coming all the way down here to get this box. Let me see, let me show it to him at least. You should come get this thing, Disarmo. boxed up and it went through one time and I forget what I did oh lord I put his name wrong on the box Adam DeSormo Vito so that's the Vito that's not the doctor bag that's the uh, what was the other one I used to give away the MC bag so I made some sort of, uh, nah, you ain't got to sleep in my shop, man. We, uh, we can do you better than that. But I made some sort of mistake on what they call, uh, uh, they call it uh, invoice, you know, a uh, customs invoice. There's a little additional piece of paper you have to do to ship out of the country, or at least to Canada. I hadn't had any trouble with uh, Mexico or but but Canada they uh yeah they won't let you they won't let you do just whatever you want to do no fernandez <laughs> fernandez that boy don't know what his own name is but um so I don't know what I did wrong on it I thought I had shipped one I thought uh Desormo had won something before and uh you know, and it, it got to him okay, and I didn't mess whatever up on that. And so anyway, after that, uh, I got it back, and we moved, and it got all packed up for a while, but I, I'm pretty well out of excuses now. It's out, as you can see it. D did you win before DeSormo, or was that ac actually the Adam? I think his name is Adam Walker. Oh, so you did win a Testo, and you actually got it okay, and you got it in a week. Yeah, so I didn't screw that up, whatever it was. It's called a uh, customs invoice that you do additionally. And so what happened was early on, I would go into the, uh, into the, Chris, I appreciate you hanging with us, buddy. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll definitely be in yours too as well and try not to be a nuisance, but uh, I like to learn in Chris's deals there. They're doing stuff there and talking about stuff over my head, so I gain something every time. But anyway, uh, DeSormo, what it was was I would go with those first few prizes, the first few giveaways, I would go into the FedEx office, and then they talked me into creating an account and doing it and printing the labels here and everything. So... Uh, Man, you don't know hot dogs from the 7-Eleven. If you come down here, Hoser, we're gonna we're gonna show you how rednecks do it right. But uh, anyway, so I started the account, you know, and printing the labels right here, and all I got to do is ride by and just lay them on the conveyor belt, and they're gone. And you know, I did something wrong trying to do the invoice deal. So I'm gonna have to go by there and let them hold my hand through it to get it done. Unless you can make it down here, Corey. Bring your wife and we'll, uh, you know, like I say, we'll show you how rednecks do it. You ain't got no rednecks up there, do you? So you don't, you don't know what a redneck is. Good old boys. Some of them talk like this and talk like that. Yeah, we got beer and redneck food. We, we can get you fixed up. At least we won't send you home sick like if you went to Mexico. You got to be careful down there. You go home sick. But, speaking of food, I got to get jacked up. I did not even eat one whole bag. Only a few. I gotta kind of chase it 
with some of that. So we're gonna get out of here. I appreciate all you guys. None of you are ever gonna realize how much we appreciate you supporting the channel. And whatever you guys do, don't forget that channel right there. You gotta be watching that. You gotta be watching that channel. And I know everybody's watching that channel. Steve Lav. There's his last name up there, if you can pronounce it. Levinamir, I think is how he says it. So we'll see you guys later. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you next.